Hey everybody, what do I got in front of me today? Well, today I've got a Husqvarna 150BT, but this is not really the thing I'm going to talk to you about. Today what I'm going to talk to you about is how to be honest to your technician or your mechanic. Um, so they don't waste their time or your money uh, trying to troubleshoot your problem. Um, I know I sound a little miffed and mad. Well, yeah, I am because I asked the person how old the gas was. Oh, I just put it in. It's good to go. You know, everything else was fine. And uh, um, it just quit running. Okay, not a problem. It could be a carb, could be junk, you know, what have you. Go through, do the normal checks, the compression, check the muffler, check the carb, check the fuel filter and everything. I should have automatically went straight to the fuel because the guy is notorious for not telling me the whole story. But what I'm going to show you is a little trick. See that sitting right there? See that? See that cameraman? All right. See how it just, boof, it went out? Okay. Right there tells me it's not got much. I understand about fumes, flame, and all that. I, I'm just trying to get to the point. One, it's about 85 degrees in my garage and humid as hell. Um, been troubleshooting that and got it working and everything. So before anybody goes on a tangent about fuel and all that crap, this is just a conventional way of how to understand what happens. Okay, so then what you do, and then this is how I do it. You know, I just take a little bit, put my I love you cap back on there to protect me, and boom. There you go. End of story. That's why I run this stuff. If you're gonna sit here and have something sit longer than 30 days that you know that the gas is not gonna be used, please take time, put that in there. Or even if you're gonna get straight fuel, they have this in straight fuel, mix it in with your stuff. I know it's a little expensive and I understand that, but hey, you know what, in the long run, it's gonna save you headaches and it's gonna save the person working on your equipment. The biggest thing is, is be honest with the technician or the person that is working on your equipment. Be straightforward and honest with them, and they'll be straightforward and honest with you. You start lying and dodging, and then they're going to sit there and go, oh, you know what, you wasted my time. I think I'm going to make some money off of you. Now, i got to take this back to work tomorrow and drop it off with the individual I worked on it for. But we're going to have a little chat chat about this because this irritates the living britches out of me. I can't stand when people cannot be straightforward and honest with me or if they're vague or it might not be intentional it could possibly be accidental that's fine but the thing is is be straight with as much information that helps the technician out and it doesn't waste their time i don't do this as a job okay i have a great paying job on the other side of the fence this is a hobby that helps me um keeps my mind running keeps me active i guess the best way to say it but the thing is is in closing um just be straightforward and honest with the person that is working on your equipment don't sit there and lie to them or don't dodge the question because if you do they're going to find out and when they find out then they're going to turn around and everything you ever teach bring them they're going to treat it like oh this guy's going to be oh i know he's got bad gas or he's going to be lying to me or something else and the other thing is is here's the one thing okay with crappy gas okay like we just went through the process do you know what most techs were going to do? They'll yank the carburetor out, turn around and clean it up. Say, oh yeah, I cleaned your carb and I, uh, or I replaced it. That's a good one too. And uh, the next thing you know, you've had to, you know, they put in new fuel. Oh yeah, I had to go through and you're going to make them do all this. When it was just a quick, simple, change out the gas, put in some stuff that works, that you know that works. Boom, and it lit right off. Okay, y'all have a great Sunday or whatever you're doing today. Peace out and all that.